Hi there, Clive here again with another meal replacement uh, review for you. If you don't know what the meal replacements are, they do exactly as they say. They're usually uh, a powder drink or a ready-made drink, which will provide all your sort of body's nutritional needs for that meal in a simple, easy uh, form. Uh, just check out all my other videos. I'll explain a lot more about it. Anyway, today I have a brand new product which was um, been sent to me all the way from Sweden. Uh, sorry about the accent, you know I love doing these stupid accents. Um, anyway, all the way from Sweden and uh, it's from a company called Packer. Yes, and it's made from the crushed bones of dead alpacas. No, 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 <laughs> no not all, of course. Um, Packer is a Swedish firm. They're very uh, new as far as I can tell. Uh, they contacted me and asked me whether I'd be good enough to review this thing. Of course, I'm always willing to check these things out. Um, very similar to the um, other products that I've tried in terms of what it does. A whole bag here uh, basically is consists of three meals. Uh, I see breakfast, lunch and dinner in one bag, basically. Um, at, each meal that you make up is about, um, let me just say, 654 calories. And in that, you're basically getting all your body's requirements in terms of minerals and vitamins. So there's a sort of a vitamin and mineral blend in here. Um, it's made with oat flour, soy flour, pea protein, rice protein, sunflower oil, um, natural vanilla, and all these normal things. They use uh, sucralose as a sweetener for it. Um, as I say, at the moment, they've only got vanilla flavors. I've got three uh, packs they've sent me, but all vanilla. I also sent me um, the standard shaker, which as you'll see is very similar to the pole shaker or very similar to the Huel shaker. Um, a scoop and a, a shaker ball. Um, so that's basically it. As I say, um, Packer is a Swedish company. Um, you can check out their site. It's packerfood.com, packerfood.com. I'll leave a link down below for you to check. Um, as I say, it's completely vegan. And as I say, it contains all the fats, fibers, proteins, and carbs your body needs, as it says on the website, plus all the essential vitamins and minerals. So very similar to all the other um, powders and sort of uh, meal replacement meals that I've tried before uh, but I'm always willing to try something new um, and so as it's lunchtime we're going to be trying out this see what it tastes like and see ultimately of course whether it gets me through to the evening um, so without further ado let's crack on I think what I'm going to do because I haven't had time to clean this out what I'm going to do is kind of make it in my Nutribullet, as I normally do, uh, I blend these things up, just it mixes it much better. So I'm going to go do that now. Oh, yeah, one, one small thing check out the packaging. I don't know if you can see there. I just. Uh, it's personalised. Anyway, that's beside the point. Um, let's uh, check it out and we'll see what we think of it. So I'm back and uh, here it is, I've made up the drink. I've not used the uh, the shaker. I'll do that later in the week as I sort of try it on the go as it were. Uh, but I've just sort of blended it in the Nutribullet because I'm at home and it's easy to do and it guarantees that it kind of mixes it properly. So I much prefer to do that. Um, first of all, uh, constituent wise, it's no great, uh, it looks very similar to uh, a lot of the other stuff, say the Quill or the Jimmy Joy. Um, so, um, yeah, not a lot of difference from, from, from those. Um, all the phones are going here. Um, Texture-wise, oh, let's go for smell. Smell, obviously, I can smell the vanilla. It's um, it's reasonably strong. It's not it's not overpowering. Uh, it's stronger than some of the other vanilla ones I've, I've had as, as, as normal. Um, Taste-wise, 
Yeah, strong vanilla flavour. It's quite sweet. It's not a sickly sweet. Although it's got the sucralose as sweetener in it, it doesn't have a... It's not got that sweetener aftertaste like the Huel, the new version Huel I've got, which although I still have the Huel and I still um, use it a lot, I do not like the new flavour version Huel because of the sweetener aftertaste that you get. So this has got sweetener in it, but you don't get that aftertaste. It just tastes sweet and nice, vanilla-y sweet. Texture-wise, it's you can certainly, it's quite thick. I think it thickens up as well, probably. Be, and that's probably the oats, the oats element into it, which reminds me a bit more of, I say, something like polv. Um, maybe not as sort of light and fluffy as the plenty I've had or the quill, which, um, but I quite like that thickness, uh, especially if it, it swells up a bit because that sort of keep you satisfied. Hopefully it'll sort of fill your stomach, stomach up from that point of view. Um, so yeah, just a nice sweet vanilla, vanilla taste. Might be a little bit too sweet for some people. Perfect for me, as I say, it's not sort of sickly saccharine sweet like the, the new version of Huel. Um, I say it's probably a touch sweeter than the Quill and the Plenty, um, the Jimmy Joy. Um, I, what I want to show is also I got a, in the box, uh, got some stickers and stuff, which is sort of quite nice. Obviously they're trying to sort of promote it at, this, uh, at the moment. And, uh, bear with me one minute. handwritten letter from uh, Alexander the founder here basically saying in the box is three bags of packer a shaker a scoop a few stickers so you put three and a half scoops of the this, uh, this is very similar to the the one I got for quill I think uh, or no one I didn't get uh, or the plenty so the similar sort of size uh, scoop three and a half scoops of that uh, with 350 mils of water. So just to give you an example, that's similar to um, Quill and Plenty. The Huel is like 500 mils plus of water. Um, that's probably why it's probably a bit thicker. You could probably add a bit more water if you wanted the texture thinner, but I think the oats, when you add the water to it, uh, water to it swell up a bit anyway, and, and you want that uh, sense of fullness anyway. Uh, three and a half scoops of the packer in the shaker, fill it up with 350 mil of water, shake it, meal is ready to go. And one shake is the same as a regular 654 calorie meal. So three of those and you're about uh, 19 and a half to 2000 calories for your day. Um, so I say that compares with most of the other ones. The Huel averages out about 450 calories. The others were anywhere between 650 to 700 uh, calories which for a meal uh, is is fine. If you're only sort of having, you know, the three meals through the day, you're gonna get to your kind of requirement of 2,000 to 2,500 uh, calories if you're having an average, living an average life and you're not a super athlete. Um, so, so there you go. Um, Price-wise, um, they say on the website, which I'll just uh, check here, that it works out about two euros per 400 calories. So of course, uh, those that will do the maths that realize that I've said 654 calories in a meal. So actually it's about three euros uh, a meal, technically speaking, because uh, each bag is, you get three bags for 36 euros. So that's nine euros a bag, three meals, three euros a meal. Uh, again though, that's uh, on a par with the the other ones, uh, price-wise, so it's quite reasonable. Uh, they ship all over the all over Europe anyway. Uh, beyond that, uh, I don't know. Um, so it's probably worth uh, worth a go. Um, as I say, it's very much very similar to, to the other ones. It's got a nice sweet taste, which I'm liking. I mustn't drink with this in my glasses, um, and it swells up. So I don't know long if you sort of made it up in the morning, put it in the fridge, um, how much it would swell up. But if you kind of feel a need that you need to 
feel that your stomach is full, then I think that's going to do the do the job. Um, so so far so good. I will report back later in the week, see how I feel generally after I've tried it for a few days. But I just thought I'd give you a heads up. I want to thank Alexander from uh, Packet for sending me the stuff. Uh, that's really great. I love the fact that it was personalised with the little high Clive there from the little alpaca. Don't know why they're uh, the significance of the alpaca. Are they famous for meals or energy or I don't know. Anyway, um, live in the mountains. Who knows? Um, but anyway, thought I'd taste it. As I say, very pleasant taste, very vanilla-y, quite sweet, but not perfect for me. It's not sickly sweet at all. Very similar, I'd say, to the to Polv. Probably is the closest one. Um, and the Quill, I'd say around, around that, uh, in, in terms of texture and taste. So absolutely fine. I like the fact that oats, so it's got that more oaty one. What was the other one I had? It was quite oaty. I can't remember now. I'll have to check back in the videos. Um, but I quite like the fact it's got that kind of oaty element, which means that it, it swells up and everything. Anyway, that's enough warbling for today. Uh, the meal replacement of choice of this review was Packer. Check out the link uh, down below, packerfood.com, and there'll be more videos to coming. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. Uh, please uh, like, comment down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd love to get the subscribers up above that 200 mark. Uh, it'd be really fab. I uh, really appreciate all the subscribers so far. Uh, also, hit the little bell notification if you want to know when I'm uploading uh, other videos. And um, look out for a further video on the old uh, packer, doc, uh, packer food uh, as I tell you how uh, I've been going with it over the week. Um, Till next time, ciao.